Hey gang, how you doing? Uh, so, you know, one of the things that I'm seeing on all the garden groups on Facebook and everywhere else right now is a ton of people seeing little things coming up in their garden and asking what they are. And uh, those are always interesting discussions because often what I see is about 30 different answers. One of them is right. A lot of them are really, really wrong. A lot of people want to know if things are weeds or things aren't weeds. So. Since things are just starting to come up here, I have not done any garden cleanup yet at all, but things are starting to finally come up a little bit here. I thought maybe it'd be fun to just walk around and take a look at what things look like when they just come up and I'll identify them if I can. I don't know all of them, but after you grow in your own garden for a long time, you do learn to recognize things a little better. But I know that when I first started gardening, um, I actually had my mom, who's a gardener, over all the time. And we would just walk through the garden and play the whole, is this a plant or a weed game? Uh, and that was really helpful. So I thought, let's just walk around, see what's growing, and uh, maybe we can identify some stuff together. Now I can almost guarantee you there's nothing in your garden that's going to look like this that you're going to mistake this for. This is skunk cabbage. This is growing in my woods. Um, if you look inside of there, let's see if we can get you inside of there. Can you see the flower that's inside of there? Just barely. Um, that is sort of the calyx that you're looking at there and soon little green leaves, kind of hostile like leaves will pop up. Lovely plant um, and really fun to look for in the woods. I didn't plant any of these here. Uh, they just are here. Uh, right next to that, I'm sure you guys probably all recognize this. This, of course, is a daffodil popping up. Of course, tags can help in the garden. And if you look over here at this, uh, this is a salvia. However, that is not the green that we're seeing there. Anybody who has this probably recognizes this right away. This is garlic mustard weed. Big problem here. I do try to stay on top of it, and I really feel like I've made headway over the past several years. Um, but I will come back and see it's all over the place. And it, it actually just rained this morning, so it's a good time to go at, oh, see, I can actually pull that out with my fingers. It's a good time to go after it because the ground's nice and soft, but this is what you want to do. They have these big, long roots. You want to get that out all together. Don't break off the root. It'll come back. So dig if you can, or if you're able to get in there when it's nice and soft and you can just pull it out. That's the end of the garlic mustard weed. This patch over here, you can probably, if you grow this plant, you probably recognize with this big mat of really ugly foliages. Uh, this is lamb's ear. And you can see if you pull that away, you know, there's some good green growth underneath there, but all that should get cleaned out. This, however, uh, is growing right next to it. This is, I'm pretty sure this is Dame's Rocket. I will put the botanical names for all these things up on the screen, you guys. Um, this is a weed, basically. This should come out. I will have to come back here and dig this all out. Sometimes the dead foliage is as much of a sign of what's underneath it as what's coming up. Uh, this is iris over here popping up in there. But you could kind of tell it was iris if you looked at all the foliage that didn't get cleaned up last year. And hey, more garlic mustard weed. That will be the theme here because there's a lot of it around. Some things are coming up and they're really easy to spot because they're just coming up gangbusters. This is geranium macrorhiza, one of my favorite ground covers. Such a good plant, grows in almost any condition you can throw at it. Looks pretty good year round. Some places it's actually evergreen. I have a lot of use for this elsewhere in the garden, so I think I might divide this patch this year if we have time. So this plant actually looks a little weedy to me, but it's a lovely little plant. This is prairie smoke. This is the native GM here. And this is what the foliage looks like, kind of, um, I don't know, uh, almost like purple tinged on the edges and a little feathery kind of. Um, I would have a hard time spotting this one if I didn't remember that I had planted it there already. So this all looks pretty tattered and messy over here. Um, this of course is a hellebore with last year's foliage, but if you go in the center here, you will see all of the new growth starting to come up here. It's all pink and beautiful. Um, so be careful where you're stepping in your garden because that's the kind of thing you might step on if you're not careful. All of this foliage, I will have to come in here and prune all this out, which is pretty easy to do when it looks like that. 
So here's a good plant to take a look at. Um, you can see a little something coming up in the center there. This is ladies mantle with these great, you know, ladies mantle has those great um, sort of fluted leaves that kind of open up and they hold water. Well, this is what they look like when they're first opening up. They're all crinkled up sort of and popping up out of the center of the little crown of the plant. I guess that's where most things come up from. You have to look close to catch this one. Do you see this tiny little red tip right there? And if we look in here, just another tiny little red tip. Uh, this is rhubarb coming out. Just the very start, there's a lot of rhubarb plant in here and I don't see all of them having stuff coming up, but it's the little signs that you look for. You have to have a keen eye to spot things in spring. This tiny little thing, let me put my finger in there so you can see exactly how small that is. This is Calamintha Nepeta Montrose White. One of my favorite plants. I'll link to an article that I've, blog posts I've written about. Great plant, buying lots more of it. Um, just beautiful, lovely little plant. Now some things are easy to spot because they kind of look the same all year other than a little flattened. This is a Juga. Uh, this one is chocolate chip. It is my favorite one. It is maybe my one of my favorite ground cover plants. Love it. I think it looks so good and it's so much better than having bare dirt sitting around. Over here we've got a lot of, again these things all look pretty shabby because nothing's been cleaned up around them, but this is um, Allium Summer Beauty and you can see sort of the kind of strappy foliage is starting to come up in there and you can kind of pull out all the all the wet gunky stuff from last year but that's Allium Summer Beauty here's some little leaves coming up um, it might be hard if I didn't know what I had planted here I would have a hard time identifying this one uh, this is uh, Veronica uh, white wands Veronica I planted a bunch in here I'm happy to see it come back I like that plant a lot it was a good performer um, all sort of popping up at the base so this is something that I spot around my garden quite a bit at this time of year. And this is a weed. I think this is chickweed, which I have a terrible problem with. Chickweed just takes over. It's easy to pull out. Um, I have to look, I will look this one up to make sure that I'm telling you it's the right thing. But I know it's a weed because after a while, even if you don't know what the weed is, you know it's a weed. So you probably recognize this one. Um, this is you know, something a lot of us deal with. This is Creeping Charlie. And this is a big leaf. You can get right down to it there. And of course, Creeping Charlie, well, that's just what I was able to pull out right there. Uh, it just goes and goes and goes. When you pull it out, you gotta keep pulling and keep pulling. Try to get it all, it's everywhere, basically. Another insidious weed in my garden. Although it doesn't do as much damage as a lot of other weeds can. So um, I don't worry about it too much. So over here, there's a couple interesting things. First of all, you see these little sprouts coming up. These are all from curling onion, or I think it's called pink nodding onion too. Um, it's an allium, great ground cover. Right next to it here is a ground cover sedum. I think this is called Miss Sunshine. Uh, really nice little front on the border guy. And I actually think I just spotted over here. This is what I've been looking for actually. Do you see these little guys coming up right here? Oh, look at this. This is great. These are winter aconites coming up. I've been waiting to see these. They're one of the first flowers of the year. And I knew they were over here. I just have been waiting to see them. They're just kind of hiding underneath all the stuff that hasn't been cleaned up yet, which is totally fine, by the way. You don't, this is all, I didn't want to clean up any earlier, to be honest, so. And then, of course, one of the first plants to get little rosettes often are um, sedums. Uh, this is probably, I'm not sure which one this is, but it's one of the tall sedums. Anyway, that's what they look like, little, they kind of look like little rosettes in there. Around here, this is another little ground cover sedum that I sort of, it's gone a little rampant, so it needs to be pulled out. And this, again, is a weed. 
don't know which one. It's it's sort of fuzzy and it um, kind of is in a clump. It almost, I, I suspect it's almost something in like a time family almost because that's sort of what it, sort of what it looks like. Okay, so I don't know if that was interesting or not, but I know that we all sort of poke around in our gardens and wonder what's coming up and it's fun to see. Here's my, here's my rule. If I can't identify something as either a plant or a weed, I don't pull it out. Um, sometimes you can tell if you're, if you think you're just would be too lucky to have a big patch of something and you don't remember planting it there, almost positive it's a weed. Keep a close eye on things. With weeds, generally speaking, just make sure they don't flower before you get them out because once they flower, they spread seed and that's probably how they got there in the first place. This is just a little walk around the garden. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll catch you soon. Let me know what's happening in your garden right now.